I am so honored to be here with Mark McEwen. He um, he's a, used to be the weather forecaster for uh, CBS. 2005, Mark's life changed. Um, November 12, 2005, Mark experienced a stroke. Um, in my world, strokes of luck. Uh, that's what my book is titled, Stroke of Luck, because we, we learn so much about ourselves when we have a stroke. Right, Mark? Sure do. Uh, before I had my stroke, we talked about this. I knew nothing about strokes. I thought a stroke was like a cold or the flu. It lasted two weeks. It was over. Was I wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's so incredible to have experienced a stroke. It's a whole new world. It is. And you get to meet people on this journey that is incredible the way we get to meet today because we both experienced a stroke. So we're, we're actually blessed. Mark, you know, I, when I was reading your story, um, most people who follow me know that I had a stroke, but my really, my, my goal and objective is to make stroke awareness, but for aphasia awareness, because stroke, when people have a stroke, they can pretty much tell by their physical ability or their phys physicality, is that the word? Yes, good word. Um, that whether someone had a stroke or not. Um, but when you play with the mind and you look at somebody like ourselves and they don't know what's going on in our mind. So aphasia is a really new terminology for... Tell them what aphasia is. Aphasia is the result of a brain injury or stroke. And um, I believe that um, Governor, um, what's her name? Governor, Congresswoman Gifford. Yep. Congresswoman Gifford suffered from aphasia. Aphasia affects your vocals. Right. Your ability to put words together where people can understand you. Right. And uh, you're like, this is, you're fr it's fr uh, frustrating for you. And uh, uh, for people, there are aphasia centers all around the country. Right. People who are now trying to put words together in the right way. Right, right. And you know, it's so, it's so ironic, um, but in my world, it's God's way to kind of grab our attention. Mark, you used to be a broadcaster. Yeah. And for weather, and I was a singer. And God took away for a moment, our ability to sing and to speak. So he really was trying to get our attention. <laughs> Not mine. Uh, I, when I first had my stroke, um, I spoke slow and high. Now I speak like I did, not quite, but uh, you know, if a person, a stroke survivor, gets tired, the vocals tend to go right along with it. Yeah, I actually can't think when I get tired and uh, I got a, I'm blessed by a gentleman in my life called Domina Cordalesa. He's at, God gifted me. He's the board president at a, my full-time job with uh, he kind of defragmented my brain and he told me when you get tired, you don't no need to speak. You need to just process. You need to take your time. You're blessed. Yes, I am blessed. I am blessed. So, um, who was your teacher? Was it rehab? Oh god. Well, I said this yesterday. Um, therapist. I had three, physical, occupational, and speech. But a therapist, I gave a speech in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And the night before the uh, stroke conference, we had a dinner, and I sat next to a therapist. I said, um, you do what you do, and you help m people like me to get, uh, when you're in a dark room, you bring in the light. And then you go on to the next person because that's what you do. Right. But the person you help never ever forgets your name. That's right. Ever. That's ever. right. And my therapists are now some of my best friends. Yes. Uh, but they help me. And um, them and my caregiver, my yes. wife, yes. was the one who uh, um, kind of held my hand and said, You can do it. Come on, you can do it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're blessed, aren't we? Um, Mark, we're actually, I, we were talking about this before. Um, my main goal and objective is to find financial aid for stroke and aphasia patients because I, I actually became an ambassador, probably like yourself, for stroke patients. Um, and it's so sad that, that when their insurance runs out, Right. They they have no assistance in 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 getting recovery, yep. and one of my 
one of my passions is f to help those people. So I'm going to put together a telethon, an aphasia telethon, and actually Bob, who we're here today for Judy's Run for Strokes, Awareness and Prevention, um, Bob put together this uh, foundation for his wife, and he wants to put a stroke telethon. So we're actually going to work together thank God, today, um, to come up with a telethon. And I hope you'll be involved with that. Well, if you do, I will. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Consider it done. Thank you, thank you. But I'm actually coming up with um, a foundation, um, um, with a uh, stroke, um, a softball marathon this coming October. Could you just really briefly explain, once again, why it's so important to... Have, make stroke awareness and aphasia awareness? Well, uh, there are a couple answers to that. Um, in news, we have a, a, a phrase that something is not sexy. When you say that, it means it's not interesting and can't talk about it. Cancer, sexy. Breast, aware, breast cancer awareness, sexy. Heart attacks, all that. Uh, they have big foundations. People are very concern and uh, all part of that but you ask someone and you mention stroke they say my dad had a stroke yes my neighbor had a stroke yes. my grandmother yes. my sister my brother it's everywhere like mushrooms after a rainstorm the stories pop up right uh, I think uh, being Isn't a stroke one of the leading yeah. um, uh, disabilities in the country in the world not one of the leading. Okay, I knew it. I knew we, I knew it was up there somewhere. But yes, it's the leading disability. Now I think it's number four for deaths. Right. Am I correct? Yes. For yes. passing on, I don't like the word death. For passing on, it's uh, it's the fourth leading. Well, but, uh, I also said this before. I wouldn't wish a stroke on my worst enemy. Yeah. The strokes are terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. And the thing about having a stroke is you can prevent most strokes. Wow. Uh, be healthy. Be active. Uh, uh, um, just know the warning signs and all that. And awareness is important because knowledge is power. Right. And the more people know, the more people right. know. Right. <laughs> and right. so what you're doing is a good thing. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, we're actually the do, the uh, the uh, proceeds from the Language of Love softball marathon, which will be held on October 12th and uh, 11th and 12th, 24 hours of softball, 24 hours of music. Um, it, the money is going to support and uh, for me to fully establish as a 501c3 my Renee Marie's Language of Love Foundation. Mark, you, I am so blessed on this journey to have met you. And I, I know that we are going to work on the softball, um, not the softball, the uh, the telethon, the phasia and uh, stroke awareness and telethon. And a little, a little tidbit is... Uh, in my goals and objectives that I write down every day, I'm hoping to uh, do it on the Oprah channel because uh, I believe that uh, Oprah is incredible. So do I. I believe that she has visions and she follows her visions and somewhere in her visions she sees us coming to her with a stroke and um, maybe that's why God um, gifted 